and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is k closest elements which is marked as a medium level problem but believe me the way i am going to explain it it will become extremely easy to you so uh, let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do uh, we will be given three parameters first one is an array arr of integer type second one is integer k and third one is integer x let's see what these specify so integer k and x so basically we have to return exactly k elements from the array which are closest to x okay excluding x if it is exist if it exists okay so what does this mean this means basically i have to return k elements k elements i have to return which are like closest to x which are closest to x and array ele elements of array here okay and if uh, suppose uh, if suppose x is element is x is as element present in arr we will not include it because it will be like the distance will be zero because i have to get closest to x and if i get x so x minus x will be zero so we will not consider that okay all right and we have to return k elements okay so what this closer means first one is uh, suppose a minus x uh, absolute difference of a and x is less than b my b and x so a is closer than b if both their distances are equal if a and b uh, if a um, absolute difference and b absolute difference with x is same so i uh, a will be closer if a is greater than b what does this mean suppose suppose x is equal to 5 okay a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 8 so uh, the absolute difference of a and x is what let's say it is 2 the absolute difference of x and a is what 3 absolute difference of b and x is what 3 so which is closer b is closer b is closer why b is closer because b because whoever will be the greatest will be closer okay so in that way we have to do and we have to return the k elements in an array i think the problem statement will be clear to you uh, let's take few more examples and then we will go on with the approach okay all right so let me use the pen here so look very very simple uh, what i am going to do uh, four ele uh, two elements we have to return which are closest to x okay so let's say uh, one for one what is the distance with x it's three absolute difference with x is three okay with three what is the absolute difference one for four what is the absolute difference with x four zero so like x if any element is equal to x we will not consider it so we are not going to consider it okay after that 10 so what is the absolute difference of 10 with x it is 6 what is the absolute difference of 12 with x it is 8 okay so which are the two elements which are closest to x it is 1 and 3 so we are going to return 3 comma 1 because 3 is the most closest and then comes 1 which is second closest and we have to return only two elements so this is what we have to do very very simple problem statement is this similarly if suppose we have to return only one element x is equal to 5 so which is the most nearest element 3 3 is the most nearest element so we are going to return 3 because we have to return only one element all right so this is what we have to do and uh, let's talk about the approach which we are going to take it's very very simple approach uh, in such problems where k is there if you can find something like k anywhere uh, the approach is very simple we will be using a heap we will be using a heap so max heap we can use uh, please listen to me very very carefully yes max heap i am going to use and uh, heap i am going to implement via priority queue okay so max if we have to write a comparator function we have to write a comparator function which will let's say check uh, which are elements are uh, closest to x okay so uh, let's say my max heap is this and uh, i will keep on entering elements one by one so when i will enter one i have entered one in the max heap after that when i will enter three when i will enter the three so uh, whose distance is greater one or three 
So three distance is greater. So in max if it will be present uh, later. Okay. All right. After that, when I enter four, so four is equal to x. I'm not going to enter it. After that, when I enter ten, so ten is basically greater. So it will be, let's say, max if. So it will be something like ten. It will be entered here in the heap because look. 10 distance is maximum from x, then 1 distance, second number, then 3 at the third number. Okay. So we only need two elements. We only need two elements, but in the max heap, we can see there are three elements now. So we don't need three elements because at last we only need two. So I will remove this element from the heap. I will remove this element from the heap. Okay. All right. Again, when I get 12, so 12 will again be inserted at the very first index in the heap because it's uh, max heap, it's 12 distance is greater. So again, uh, only two elements we have to take. So 12 will be removed again. And now only one and three are present, which I am going to fill in the queue one by one. I uh, win the answer array list one by one. So answer will be something like, first of all, like one will be present at the last index and then three will be entered in the this index and this will be my answer because three is the closest then followed by one so the only thing which is there is to write a comparator function for it okay so if you are coding in java i'm going to tell you how we can write it uh, Okay, so in Java, if we have to write a max heap, I'm going to do something like Q of integer type. Many people are using pair to do it, but we don't need pair. Uh, I will tell you how to write it easily. Let me make it a bit big as well, 28. Okay, so I think it will be clearing clear now. A new priority Q, something like this, and here, suppose i have two elements a comma b okay i have two elements a comma b so if the absolute difference between a and b is not equal we have two conditions if absolute difference between a and b is same and if it is not same okay so let's see if math dot absolute of a minus x is uh, not equal to math dot absolute of b minus x okay so if it is not equal let me remove this delete this okay so if it is not equal then uh, we have to in the in our max heap the distance will be maximum so in that case i will just copy this and i am going to place paste it here with minus sign Uh, mat dot absolute of a minus x not equal to mat dot absolute of b minus x so it will be something like math dot absolute of b minus x minus this okay so what does this means this means suppose there are two elements a comma b and whose absolute differences is not equal in that case we will uh, b so you see b is second so if b is second and now i am writing it first it's basically becoming a max heap okay and uh, otherwise if uh, if we will come here if both are same so if both are same in uh, we have to uh, let's say keep the minimum element we have to keep the minimum element so a minus b something like this okay so yeah that's it uh, this is our comparator function and uh, i think thus it's basically more about same in c++ as well what i'm going doing here is i will explain it again so basically i'm using max heap because we will remove the elements from the starting of the queue if q size is greater than k at any point if q size is greater than k we will remove the starting element because we don't need them okay uh, minimum answer we have already got so if there is any entry which is greater than them i will remove them so this is what it is math dot absolute of a minus x b minus x and uh, always remember suppose in our priority i'm just going to tell one more thing suppose there are two numbers a comma b and we have to uh, in our priority queue we have to store greater element first then uh, a small element so what i'm going to do i'm going to write b minus a in decreasing order this will do in decreasing order and if i want an increasing order with a comma b i am going to write a minus b 
okay this is very very important same thing we are doing here mat dot absolute of b minus x minus a minus x it means it's going to do in decreasing order otherwise we are writing a minus b it means it's going to store in increasing order why increasing order because we will be removing elements which are not needed so if absolute of both numbers are same i will remove element like i have to take the larger element so that's why i'm removing the uh, smaller element that's why i'm storing it in the starting so this is what it is very very simple and believe me when i'm going to write the code of it uh, with explanation it will become crystal clear to you but before that if you have understood my explanation if you have understood the min heap max heap and how to write the comparator function please subscribe the channel and like the video and uh, one more thing is there you can see this brain icon this is basically if you are watching this video uh, with like uh, watching that tutorial of it you need to revise this problem again you should revise this problem again so to track of to keep track of problems which you need to revise i have made this chrome extension you can just click add for review here and this is it you have to revise this k closest problem on 19 june why 19 june because the time is set here for seven days after seven days you can configure it after how many days you want like four three and after that when you will add a new problem you will the date will be accordingly okay and you have to revise those problems so make sure to check out this chrome extension it is very very useful now moving on to the code uh, let's go q of integer type pq is equal to new priority q and uh, it's basically a comma b and if you remember i've already told can i copy it from here let's copy it something like this uh, mat dot absolute of a minus x not equal to b minus x so mat dot absolute of b minus x minus a minus x otherwise a minus b so let me break it down here and uh, are all the brackets written correctly yes okay so after that what i'm going to do i'm going to just add all the elements of this arr into priority queue one by one okay uh, let's see how i'm going to do that for int i of arr and uh, look first thing is if i not equal to x because if like 4 4 so here you can see uh, return exactly k elements ex excluding x if it exists because x distance from x will be zero so if i not equal to x i'm going to add it pq dot add i now one more thing suppose like we need only k elements so if priority q size is greater than k at any point we don't need uh, we have to remove some elements so if pq dot size is greater than k remove the first element pq dot whole very very easy why i am why i implemented max heap that's because it because in the starting of the priority queue those elements will be there which we have to remove okay and after that uh, just make one array in answer new int of k size okay and i'm going to let's say have my pointer i is equal to k minus 1 because we are going to fill from the ending of array okay why i'm going to tell you that as well so while uh, let's say i is greater than equal to 0 simply do answer of i is equal to pq dot pole and uh, i minus minus and after coming here i'm going to just do return answer let's try to compile this once after that i'm going to tell you why i am filling it from the ending why i am filling this answer array from end so yeah it's getting compiled so you see we are implemented a max heap so the first element when i will come here the first element uh, which will come out of the priority queue will have the largest distance like if i will see 3 comma 1 so if you will see here it's basically something like in priority queue it's filled 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 is filled but uh, which is which means 1 comma 3 which means one has the largest distance among elements of this priority queue then comes the three so largest distance means that in the ending 
first minimum distance mean the starting of the array that's why i'm filling it in this way let's try to submit this meanwhile if you have loved this explanation please subscribe the channel like the video and this code you will get on my github along with the c plus plus code if you have any another solution make sure to um, make a pull request on my repository and i will merge your code uh, that way you can also learn github and all these things contribute on the github uh, that's it it's getting accepted and i got it in my first attempt only so that was it for today please subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation make sure to check out this chrome extension and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye